Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I wanted to show you just one feature that uh, came up in the integration between the Samsung Galaxy Tab S tablets and the Samsung Galaxy S5 that I thought was really cool. And I wanted to sort of give it a dedicated video just so I can really show you how it works. And it's called the Side Sync, as you can see that icon right there, and the one that's here on the phone. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the phone real quick and it's going to connect via Wi-Fi. It will connect between the two using Wi-Fi Direct, so that's what's going to be used. And when I click on the side sync right there, it'll show already Wi-Fi Direct up top. So if I click on that, the Samsung Galaxy S5 in my left hand right now should go blank because what's going to happen is you'll have this display right here and it will basically allow you to control the phone completely from there. And there you go. You basically have the entire Samsung Galaxy S5 available on the tablet now, which really gives the tablet a lot more functionality in terms of really becoming a replacement. When you're, let's say, at home, and this phone is, let's say, just sitting around anywhere, and you don't really want to uh, use it a whole lot, maybe it's charging, but you still want to be able to get all of your notifications, all of your calls, all of your messages. Well, this is more than just notifications. This is the actual phone itself. So if we were to have a call come in right now, it would show up here, and if I were to answer it, uh, we would be able to get the call through the actual 10.5 tablet right here uh, and be able to do the voice call through it, not only hearing the audio, but actually saying, uh, capturing the audio and sending it through to the call. So what we have here also is the ability to, to move files between the two apparatuses. So I'm gonna find the gallery real quick and we'll use the gallery to demonstrate that. All right, there we go, we have the camera and we have the actual file right here. Select it first, and then if I hold and drag, you see it's dragging over. I drag it over to the other side of the tablet, and it will tell me to choose which folder I want to put it in. So we're just going to pick one of them. I'm going to probably just pick pictures. Hit done, and it looks like we're good to go. Now the actual window itself is able to be customized a little bit. You have the button layout here at the bottom, so if I wanted to go home on the actual phone, I could always do that. But if I wanted to go full screen with it, you can also do that as well. So now I'm literally just working with the phone at this point, and it allows me to do everything I need to do on the phone, and then always be able to come right back to the phone itself, well, to the tablet itself rather, in order to do anything else like media consumption. Minimize, and it comes, becomes a little chat bubble right there. That way you have easy access to the phone whenever you need it, and there it is. So that was just a look at the side sync for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S tablets when they integrate with the Samsung Galaxy S5. It allows you to get a lot of functionality out of the phone, even when you're only using the tablet and maybe you're too lazy to go and grab the phone when it is going off because someone is calling you. If I were to just X out of side sync right now, we have control of the phone back in our hands. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including our coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S line of tablets that was just announced today in New York City. So keep it tuned here because we are your source for all things Android.